My guest market monitor this week is Mark Leibovitt, Chief Market Strategist for VRTrader.com, and welcome back to Nightly Business Report. Mark? Glad to be here, and we're live from NASDAQ. Okay, good. <laughs> Question, is today's sell-off on Wall Street telling us the stock market has gotten ahead of itself and needs a correction? Well, the entire advance has been very orderly, Paul, and we've rallied 1,500 points since the summer, so I guess there's always that risk of a pullback, but it's a, it's a very clear uptrend. We have higher projections, so I would say, yes, a couple hundred points down might be great, but it'd be, use any dip as a buy. This market's headed higher. We have projections in the Dow to 13,600, and we think we can get there by next fall. So this is a strong bull move, Paul, and any correction would be a buy. Okay, fair enough. Let's take a look at some of your annual forecast models, which have been relatively accurate over recent years. Let's see how your projections are for the year bearing out. We'll start with your Dow prediction. It, mm -hmm. it certainly indicates we were in, in a rally mode late in this year, and there it is. Yeah, we predicted a high in May. We went short for a summer correction, and uh, the model said up until year end. And frankly, the rally is even a lot stronger than we expected in the current time frame. But seasonality is with it, and any dip is a buy, like I said a moment ago. Well, your prediction is on the top line, and the Dow is the actual one on the bottom line. Okay, let's have a look at oil. What was your forecast for oil? Well, it had quite a fall in the late summer. And you yeah, didn't it, it, reflect that very much. <laughs> no, well, we, we, we underestimated the correction, no question about it. But now we've had a very s significant correction in crude oil, and we're due for a nice technical rally. So I'll, I'll be looking for crude oil to rally back into the high 60s or maybe in low 70s on a technical move. In fact, I see all commodities rallying here, so I would be long. Okay. And your annual forecast model for gold, and that would indicate that uh, it's on an uptrend again after uh, going through a correction? Of course, we have our big picture projection, 20-year up move, $3,000 an ounce type number in the next five to 10 years. So we're always positive. Uh, right now, if gold can clear 660, then we're going to see new highs. So let's watch that 660 level if we can get through it. What's your ultimate goal on gold? 3,000 an ounce. Oh, my goodness. Well, we'll wait that one out. On your, on your last visit with us in late May, you recommended three securities. Let's have a look and see how they've done since then. Hecla Mining done very well, up 25%, and Glamis Gold up 12%, and that is a takeover by Gold Corp, I believe. Yes, it went actually higher than where you're quoting it here because I think it ran as high up to about 47 or so. So basically, Glamis is not going to exist anymore. But, yes, uh, it was one of our strong you're, picks. You're staying with Hecla? Absolutely. Silver, very strong. Uh, Heckler looks like $9 to us. Okay. And then you had one other recommendation, and that was the, the, the Diamonds, the Diamond Trust. And you recommended shorting it at 112, and it's well above that now. What happened? Did you cover your short? We did. We were looking for a move down to uh, toward 10,000. It stopped at 10,600 and double bond them there twice. So we covered the summer on 107. Okay, fair enough. Do you have any new recommendations for our viewers, Mark? We sure do. Four, Paul. The first one is Geren, G-E-R-N. This is a stem cell play. Started to move today on some volume. I see this stock, along with other stem cell stocks, moving higher. I can see this as high as 15. Okay. Let's go for number two. Next one is uh, NGAS, which is NGAS Resources. This is a pure play on natural uh, gas, which has been decimated this year and is now experiencing a very nice technical rally. I would look for a move up to about $10 in okay. NGAS. Okay, fair enough. Next one, next one is USO, which is U.S. Oil Fund. This is on my play that crude oil and energy should recover here. This is an ETF that tracks various crude oil and related products. I think it's going into the 60s. An exchange-traded fund, a little diversification there. Absolutely. We've got and time for one more. And one more is EZM, which is Euro Zinc Mining. This is a play on copper, zinc, uh, nickel, all the metals. Little $3 stock that can go up to about 5 6 in our opinion. In fact, zinc, nickel, and uranium are the strongest metals now, and this participates in two of them. Okay. Do you personally own any of the securities you're recommending, Mark? I own every one of them. All right. Very good. Mark, I want to thank you for being with us once again. My pleasure, Paul. Thank you for having me. My guest, Mark Liebovit of VRTrader.com.